Hello everyone, welcome to Pumpkin Horror. Now this is probably the 14th time that I did this because either the uh, figure would fall or something would break and I had to re-glue it. It's just been a bad day to get this thing off the ground. Hopefully I can get this thing finished without it messing up, okay? Now today we're going to talk about this particular figure. It is based off of Halloween Kills. It is the 2021 movie that just recently came out. And I do want to talk about the movie, what I like about it, what I don't like about it. But I also want to talk about the actual box art, as well as comparing the 2018 version to this one here, okay? And we're also going to be talking about the accessories, okay? Now, both knives in this set, I try to put them in their hands. Guess what? They decided to snap on me because they're really extremely fragile. So don't force them into the hands because they will snap on you, okay? promise you that. But anyway, long story short, that's the magic of Gorilla Glue, okay? And it does miracles, okay, guys? <laughs> I'm telling you. I've broken a few things, especially the uh, Toonie Terrors. They're really fragile. They'll break quick, man. I had to fix things on that as well. All right, but anyway, let's get into the actual box art. And, you know, what I'll do with this is give you a review based on my thoughts not so much the dimensions or anything like that I'm gonna leave a link down below this video if you want a much more in-depth uh, review based on this figure it is from the uh, youtuber the review spot he does all kinds of reviews and let me tell you in my opinion he does some of the best ones out there so if you want to really know anything information wise based on these figures Go to that YouTuber, check out his um, reviews. They're really, really good. But in the meantime, let's talk about the box art. This guy right here is, no, it's semi-gloss. or It's a high gloss, not a semi-gloss, but it's really shiny looking. So I'm sorry about the spots or anything like that that you see. Okay. Actually, I should clean the lens, but that's just me. But anyway. Here you go. The side of the box, again, it has that artwork. And it is a NECA figure, okay? The back of the box has various scenes for the figure that you can pose them in. And it's got that fireman's crowbar, I think. I'm not sure what they actually call it. But he does some major damage in that particular scene. He seems to be incredibly strong when he can jack up a fireman like that up in the air. Yeah, he's got some serious strength, okay? But anyway, that's what the box art looks like, and the side of it is the same on both sides, okay? Now, let's open up the box. Okay, that's what it... Now, I'm sorry about the shine here. I don't know if you can actually see it or not. Okay, now inside here, I don't know if you can actually see it or not. But in this corner here, you'll see a dresser. It's more or less inside the house. Uh, you can use these as a backdrop, whatever you want to do, okay? Maybe you can see it. There it is right there. Now you can see it a little bit right there. See it? Okay? But anyway, most of these NECA boxes have backdrops you can actually use, okay? Unfortunately, what I do with these here is I actually throw these away because I don't have the room anymore. I, at one time, had an ungodly amount of boxes. I would literally save all my NECA figure boxes, as well as my Funko Pops, and I had wall to wall. I said, nah, I gotta get rid of these, okay? Uh, they're not serving a purpose, just sitting in the closet. And then I don't, I don't have the room for them, so I had to sacrifice and throw them away. I saved certain ones, okay? I can guarantee you that. I still got a few in my closet. Mask-wise, Trick or Treat Studios did decide to go ahead and do a mask based on Michael Myers' Halloween Kills. It's the burnt variant, okay? I was going to purchase it, but, you know, with the prices, to me, were acceptable around 60 bucks for, uh, like, $59.99 on Trick or Treat or even in Amazon.com with shipping and handling. We'll push it around maybe $75. To me, that was worth it because latex in itself has a tendency to decay after a while if you don't take care of them, okay? Uh, they also have PVC, so they... They're a little bit durable, okay? So keep that in mind. Anyway, they decided to go ahead and jack up those prices. And that's what these companies do. If they want to make profits off of anything that's really popular, they're going to capitalize by raising those prices, okay? Now, there are still some masks on Trick or Treat Studios that are still within reasonable price. 
But anything popular like this one, especially when it first came out, they decided to go ahead and jack it up 10 extra dollars. So now, getting this with shipping and handling, depends on where you get it, can run you as high as $90 for this mask, okay? That to me is just too expensive because these masks have a tendency to deteriorate if you don't take care of them, obviously. Um, I do have a mask that's literally over 10 years old. And it's a demon mask. And I will tell you this, I went searching for other masks just to replace it. There's none existent. They, they don't exist, this particular mask. At least, not on the internet anyway. But um, I did come across one on eBay. But he calls it the old grandfather. And what he did... The demon mask has very long hair. He cut the hair. <laughs> I thought that was funny, but it is the same mask. But unfortunately, he cut the hair on it, so it's like, eh. So I was going to replace it, but what I did is I actually repaired it because it started decaying in the in the nose area. I'd show you what it looks like, but I don't feel like you know, getting up and showing it. But anyway, uh, I did repair it the best I could, and it looks good for the most part. And you got to get the color scheme right. Uh... Hopefully it won't do too much more damage, but after a while, your masks do have a tendency to decay, okay? So keep that in mind if you don't take care of them. Like I said, that mask in itself is over 10 years old, okay? So investing 90 bucks into a mask that's eventually going to break down on you, I'm not too keen on that. So what I'll do is I'll actually wait until they actually drop the price on it, okay? Where it's reasonable in my opinion. And, you know, I mean, some people don't have a problem paying that kind of money for it, but... Accessories. It comes with a bat, my friends. Okay, I actually had it on there, but obviously it kept falling and it fell out of the hand. So I was like, nah, I'm going to put the crowbar in there. Okay, now there you go. Let me pull that in a little bit. So you can somehow check out the detail. Now there is some dings, but there's no blood on this. So it's most likely this is the bat that Tommy used. I could be wrong about that, where he's... Smashes down on Michael Myers right straight down to the ground. But what does Michael do? He gets right back up after being tortured like that. Okay, I'm going to talk about that here in a second. Okay, guys? All right, but that's the bat, guys. Okay? All right. This knife right here is still wet. Let me see. All right, as you can see, this one here. I try to put it back into the handle, the hand of Michael Myers, but unfortunately, it decided to snap on me. As you can see, there's still got some glue residents on it. Just trying to repair it. I used Gorilla Glue on it, but these are so small that it's hard to line up the um, the blade. It snapped right around there, right there. Okay, guys. The other knife did the same thing. Okay. But this one I dried yesterday, so it's good to go. Okay, that's the bloody variant. Now you'll notice between the two of these, if I don't mess this up, that the handles are completely different in color. Alright, they are a little different in color. But they are pretty much the same knife, except one's got a bloody variant and the other one don't. Okay? Alright, there you go. Now, hands... Different hands, okay. He's missing a couple of fingers, okay. Now, here's the other hand. So you get to choose what kind of hands you want to put on this figure, okay. This one here is the fluorescent light bulb. That I, it's been a while since I've seen the movie. I think he jams it in the girl's throat or something. It's pretty cool. It was a, it was a grisly death. Okay. All right. And that's what that looks like here. Now I'm going to show you the other end here. Very realistic and detailed looking. Okay, hang on. Let me change the angle on that. There you go. See that? That's pretty cool looking. All right. All right. Enough about those guys. Now, it does come with this mask here. It is the skull mask from Halloween 3. Uh, they're called Shamrock Masks. Okay, I do have all three of them sitting on the shelf from Trick or Treat Studios. 
I got the witch, the pumpkin, and the skull. Obviously, this one here is a little bit, um, it's different in color. It's not as white, okay? So, but it is, uh, what it does when you actually see the movie, the kids are sitting on a merry-go-round or playing around or something like that, and the girl screaming, like, run, get away, it's Michael Myers, boo, boo, boo. But anyway, um, this kid apparently gets killed off screen because he's seen with the, I don't know if he's seen with the mask or not, uh, but it does tell you one thing that this movie Halloween 3 is now canically connected okay canically connected to the Halloween franchise okay so let me show you what that looks like here all right now a little known fact about this, I can't seem to do it, but they say you can actually take one of these hands, I'm not sure which one it is, you can actually connect the hand to the mask where you can actually have it on the figure so he's actually seen holding the mask, okay? But uh, I can't seem to do it, so I'm not going to mess with it. But anyway... Uh, these three particular sh shamrock masks. Now I'm going to show you one more thing here. It does have the shamrock as you can see here, guys. All right. It's the only one that it comes with. Now I'm surprised it didn't have the witch or the, uh, the pumpkin, which would have been cool to have. Who knows, they might just come out with a future set like that. Now this mask here, or it's actually the head. It's very similar to this one. This is the original that comes with the figure when you get the first box. I just switched them out last night because this one here in itself is uh, more damaged. I guess as time progresses through the movie, uh, he takes on more damage or something. But that's what she looks like here. She's heavily damaged. Okay. Okay, now what I'll do, bring him down. Okay, hang on for a second here. Get this in position here. All right. Oops. We are going to have to hold that. Okay. I'm going to show you the difference between the two masks. There are slight differences if you if you're careful by looking at it. Now you can see this one here is a little bit more damaged. I know. Push him out of the way. Okay, now back. Okay, now the other side. You'll notice in the face, <clears throat> this one here has a little bit more blood. Get that gripped right. But there are slight differences between these two masks, okay? Enough about the accessories, okay? Those are done. Let's talk about the figure in itself. Oh, and it does come with this uh, fireman's crowbar. Okay, I don't want to take it out of his hand, so I'll let you see it from here. Okay, it's got the hook down the other end. Okay, now the suit in itself, well, the old coveralls. Okay, they do have a burnt situation going on here because he was caught in that fire. All right. Now the articulation on this is exactly the same as any other NECA figure. The hands move, the elbows move, the shoulders move, and the neck moves. Now in the neck area, usually there is a ball joint that you can pop your head on. This one here has a ball joint, but it's a very small ball joint, okay? Now again, on the review spot, if you check out that video, which I will leave the link down below, it'll show you all that stuff for you, okay? 
Now there is slight differences between the two uh, Michael Myers. This is the 2018 one. Hang on for a second there, guys. Okay, hang on for a second. Stay. Okay, now. Uh, I knew you weren't going to do that. Okay, now. Push you out of the way. Okay, now. Let's compare the differences between the two Michael Myers. Okay, first of all, the faces are obviously different, as you can see. This one here almost has like a Dick Warlock feature about it, but that's just me, right? I mean, if you looked at the actual detail, just by glimpsing at it compared to this mask here, because the holes are a little bit darker on this one here, so it kind of throws them off a bit. All right, but the suit in themselves, as you can see, let me get this right. This one here is, in fact, a little thinner in the body than this one here, okay? But they are pretty close to being the same. Otherwise, the shoes are, in fact, a different color, as they say, okay? But outside of that, these are pretty much the same, okay? Now the hands in these things are a different color as well, okay? But outside of that, there's not much difference between the 2018 version and the 2021 version, okay? Like I said, if you want uh, a better understanding of it, just go hit that link down below and you take you right straight to that. He'll, he'll break it right down for you. Trust me. He did a really good job on it. Okay. <clears throat> Outside of that, let's talk about the movie, what I do like and what I don't like, okay? Now, when the movie started, okay, started off like any other Michael Myers movie, okay? He escapes, but the fire scene, I mean the fireman scene, he was badass in that one, man. Okay, and he pretty much took them all out. He is a ruthless killer, okay? There's some great scenes in that particular scene when he first walks out on the uh, porch, and he's like, hey, motherfuckers. Next thing you know, they're trying to stop him, stupid asses, okay? You know anything about anybody walking out of the actual um, fire? You don't mess with them, okay? I mean, they're not in the right in the head when they walk out of a fire, okay? Hang on for a second here, guys. Got to put him back on the stand. There we go. There we go. Okay. Put the hammer back. All right. In the pumpkin. Oh, by the way, the 2018 version does come with a pumpkin. Okay. I've got a bunch of them. There's ones that actually open up, and there's ones if you hit the uh, stem, it lights up. But the battery died on that one, sorry to say. But anyway, the movie in itself, the actual fireman scene, very cool. Okay, I did like that scene. And him going after Lori, that really didn't really make much sense, okay, because she was sitting in a hospital. Okay, it's been a while since I've seen the movie. Uh, overall, when he was in the park... And he took out those three kids with the masks, okay? With the uh, shamrock mask. I thought that was cool. As soon as I seen that, I was like, holy fuck, yes, that is awesome. Because I'm a fan of that particular movie, even though there's a lot of fans out there. Because it didn't have Michael Myers in it, okay? They didn't like the movie, okay? It's just, it, it is what it is, you know? It's people's opinions, that's just what it is. But I like the movie for what it was, okay? Uh, outside of that... The killing scenes in this particular movie are absolutely badass. Okay, especially, hang on for a second, with this guy here, okay. Now that's the fluorescent light bulb. I love it. I think he kind of stabs her in the neck with it. He was gruesome in this too, man. He was killing people left to right, but he was really, really vicious with it, okay. Especially when he took out Lori's uh, daughter and stabbed the living shit out of her. <laughs> He's like, ch -ch -ch -ch. Die, motherfucker, die! Till she went to the floor, okay? Uh, but anyway, the one thing I really didn't care for is the fact that they 
Lori Strode started talking towards the end, and he got that serious beat down. And he got shot in the face, but yet he still came back. Okay? Michael Myers is human, okay? He's a serial killer, obviously. Uh, to get shot in the face like that, you can survive it, okay? But if you get shot in the brain, you ain't coming back from that. He didn't get shot in the brain. Here's the thing about that whole situation a lot of people don't seem to understand. He hasn't been killed yet, okay? I don't care what they say, there's no proof of it, okay? Uh, they've tried and assumed that he did die in part six, I think it was, where he got uh, decapitated, but come to find out that wasn't him, okay? In order to kill Michael Myers, you actually got to kill Michael Myers, okay? You can't shoot him in the face <clears throat> and then expect him not to die. All right, it's not going to happen, okay? He's actually he's going to come back. And now if you get it through the brain, then obviously he's not coming back, okay? Because he's still technically human, okay? <clears throat> now when Laurie Strode was kind of explaining things and the uh, townspeople were giving uh, Michael the beat down, and obviously they shot him in the face, and he came back. It's only because he wasn't dead. He just got shot in the face, so he can endure a lot of pain. Uh, obviously, if anybody knows anything about Michael Myers, they know he can deal with a lot. And especially if you're not of the normal, okay? If you're a serial killer and you dealt with a lot of pain in your life, that ain't nothing to Michael. He'll come right back and whoop your ass. That's what he'll do. But anyway, uh, they shot him in the face and they gave him the serious beat down, especially Tommy, okay, with the bat. <laughs> but anyway... <laughs> um, Michael says, you know what, I'm going to get back up, I'm going to kill all you motherfuckers, <laughs> and he did, okay, <clears throat> sorry about the throat, so he, while she's doing that, she's kind of explaining the fact that he, he's not normal, obviously he's not, okay, but she's treating it like he's supernatural, like he's on the same level as Jason, no, not on the same level, not yet, okay, until you kill him, until he comes back with some crazy superpowers like Jason did, he's not on the same level. He never will be, okay? Okay, don't get me wrong, okay? Now, Michael Myers is a badass, and he's unstoppable, okay? But Jason, he's gone through a lot of shit, and he's dealt with a lot of shit compared to Michael. He, I don't know if Michael can actually survive what uh, Jason going through. I'm not trying to upset you guys, okay? I'm not trying to do that. Uh, but what Jason went through, especially with that uh, telekinesis chick in part 7, by the way, that's my all-time favorite movie. And that's my all-time favorite uh, NECA figure, is that Jason. He looks absolutely badass, okay? But, um, uh, you know, until he goes and, and he's down there in the, uh, the water for like, I don't know how many years, but then he decides to come back. He keeps coming back. He has died, but he keeps coming back. Michael hasn't gotten to that level yet. But I'm sure he would. If he actually died and he came back, I'm sure it would be the same way as Jason, okay? But right now, what I'm saying, he's not on that level yet, okay? He's not supernatural, okay? Even though they're standing there saying that he is supernatural, I think metaphorically speaking, she was saying he's pretty much unstoppable right now. And obviously, in the movie itself, he was, okay? He just got right back up after that beatdown and getting shot in the face. Slashing and dicing everybody and eventually killing um, Lori's daughter, okay? So yeah, he can, he can endure a lot, but he, like I said, he's not on that same level yet, okay? But I'm curious to see how they're going to treat that in the next movie, okay? Or how they're going to try to stop him, okay? But anyway, long story short, this is my review based on Michael Myers from Halloween Kills. Uh, like I said, I like the movie for the most part. Uh... There were some things I didn't really care for. The killing scenes were absolutely amazing, okay? Um, but outside of that, on the three shamrock masks, I thought that was a very cool touch, okay? And that uh, canically connects uh, that movie to the franchise. I know a lot of people don't like to hear that, but that's just the way it is, okay? And that's very cool in my opinion, because I like that movie, okay? And obviously, um, like I said, the killing scenes... As well as um, the fireman scene was really cool too. But the, overall, the movie had some really good points. But it was kind of a little boring. Especially when um, Lori was talking to the um, the sheriff there. And obviously they were injured sitting in the hospital. 
they were saying stupid shit. <laughs> okay. But anyway, it was a good movie overall. Okay. I'm curious to see what this next movie is going to be like. Okay. And obviously, I'm going to have to get it because it's got to be part of my collection. Okay. I got all the movies up to date. Okay. And the figures in themselves, I'd love to get a 1978 version. But I don't think they have the, um, the licensing for the 1978 version. I would love to see them make a 1978 version. I'd snag that fucker up quick, okay? But anyway, sorry about all the cussing, guys. But that's just the way I do some things in these particular videos. I hope you guys don't mind. That's why it's not safe for children. Because there is a little bit of fibbing in here, okay? So, with this in mind, I'm going to let you guys go. Again, I'm going to leave that link down below so you can check out the review spot because he does an amazing job on reviews. If you really want to get an understanding of the figure itself, check out that video. I'm going to leave it down below, okay? In the meantime, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell, okay? And I will see you later. This is Pumpkin Horror.